take a quick look. Because in a couple of hours, all this is going to change. I am going to attempt a track extension all the way around there and back again. I cannot think what could possibly go wrong. So here we go. Well, here we go. Cleared out. Potter's World at the UFO Park. They're all sitting on this flat table here. That is those two amusement parks, only one area. I think I've got like 50 minifigs in that area alone. Got two white spaces, which I'm going to be filling up with a couple of boards in a second. I'm going to pull out the track extension. But in typical A4 fashion, that's the light switch. I'm not sure I'm just going to focus on it correctly because it's my camera. There we go. That's the light switch. I can't get to it without calling for all the tables. So that's going to be fun when I have to switch off the lights and go upstairs later. But we're going to grab two more green boards in here, fill up the gap, and that huge green area there, that's the track extension. And hopefully if my plan goes right, the amusement park will go in the middle there. So here goes nothing. Bye, bye, bye. Well, status update. It's a bit of a mess. As you can see... Most of it's correct up to that point there. I have a huge issue at the landing stage just there. So I'm going to try to figure that out, but I can't figure that out right now because I've got life stuff to do. So I've got to figure out how to switch out the light. This flat table is in the garden at the time. It's taking up a lot more space than I need to actually move around. I may have to end up moving all this stuff here forward one, ba one base plate. Then I think it'll work. Man, oh man. <laughs> this seemed like a good idea in my sleep. Moral of the story, don't have ideas in your sleep. Right. This is Nick Davis, signing off. We'll come back to this much later on, but I have some life errands to run now, like, you know, food. Essential stuff. So, talk to you guys later. Bye, bye, bye. Well, I'm back on my errands, and I have bit the bullet. I have cleared out. The entirety of that side there that I remember in my last video that was fully populated with a more world part of Legoville. Well, not anymore. On this tree house at the moment. And there is everything else. Oh my, what have I done? But I have removed the temporary table here. I was basically going to put that flat stuff on there so I can get to the light there. So at least I resolved that issue for me. Got a pile of, pile of baseboards over there. Big white gap to fill up. Um, Treehouse is going to go roughly back to where it was before. Lots of changes are just about to happen. For what was like a what five minute idea I had this morning. So, fold the finger around. This is what it looks like at this moment in time. It's a huge mess, but you know what? Once it's done, we're going to have a longer train track thing going on. And I think it's going to be better for it. So, see you again soon. For another update, most likely we'll be posting some tomorrow, time tomorrow because I'm going to go from watch Parker's Gold in about five minutes. So you all take care now. Bye-bye. Wow. It's been a long time between updates, but this is where I'm ending for the night. You see we've got the uh, treehouse in place in the wilderness where I wanted it. We've got a lot of bricks to put away. I still have all that place in that green area just there. But I think we've got to a point where basically I can rest for the night. It's like what, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I've got area here for expansion for the rare world which I know will be coming sometime in the future so I'm very very happy with it I've actually got the uh, train integrated now which is good so it's more like a layout making more use of the train function itself which is great as well at some point I've got to paint that wall but that's the low on priorities at this moment in time so this is how it stands at this moment in time all that stuff there's got to be put still back on there. All that gear there still going to be put up there. I'm sure the cats don't go up there tonight. Or I'm going to have a lot of broken models in the morning. And that's what it looks like. So, yeah. 
feel good about it now. I was very worried at the start, but I feel very good about what the direction this is going in now. This is good. This is good work. So, see us all again sometime tomorrow morning. We'll have an update as we basically rebuild uh, Legoville. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Well, it's uh, Saturday afternoon, so a quick update for you all. We just started placing in the uh, amusement park area, so the legacy Hogwarts Castle and uh, Hogwarts Hut. We're in position now, which basically sort of fill that space up quite nicely. Got a lot of bricks and pieces to still tidy up. Long way to go, but the real good news is cats didn't get up on the flatboard, so didn't have to fix anything there. So lots of things to do to do yet. I'll uh, update you periodically throughout the day, and uh, we'll keep moving forward. Hopefully in a couple of hours you'll start seeing a fully fledged amusement park there, and uh, fencing appearing, and a bit of, uh, what do they call it, ghibli stuff, to basically give a bit more texture to the boards, but it's starting to look, look pretty good, and it's starting to come together a lot more now. Really need to make some more trees and foliage that way. This area here, I really want to forest out. This area here is going to get very industrialized, so that's why I want to make this more foresty in this area, just here. So we've got a long way to go yet, but we're getting there, that's the most important thing. So, you will be safe, talk to you again soon, and let's see where we go. Bye bye bye. Okay. Making some serious progress now. The fencing is down for the Invision Park, though I am going to now. So now I can see perspectives. I can shrink this down over this way, or not, this way a bit more. See myself a little bit more uh, fencing. Open up this area here a little bit more for more development. I won't be amusement park related. It's looking pretty, pretty tight in there. Definitely going to need a lot more forestry products sometime in the future. Well, the future is some time off right now. But this area here is looking good. Gonna take a quick break for a while, go a while, and then move on to other things. Still have all that to place. Well, it's the construction crew, which may find a home over there. I haven't decided yet. A lot more work to do yet. Stuff a lot of tidying up yet, and I've still got to put all the minifigs back in too. So, lots of things to happening. Lots of things still to come. Hope you're liking the updates so far. Legoville has certainly gone through a significant change here. So, um, talk to you later. Bye. Well, here we go. It's approximately five o'clock in the evening now. Amusement Park is now situated in place, and we have all the minifigs in place, which is great. So, all that remains now is for me to. Tidy this up this area here. Get rid of all these loose bricks. Get everybody back into their places. <laughs> There's other places. And find a home for my construction crew, I guess. So we're so close to the end now. It's been a long journey to get this point. What, about five o'clock to five o'clock? I started this at five o'clock yesterday. And I'm still going. So bits and pieces to do, but we're getting there. See you in the next update. Good play hours. Bye bye. Well, it's six o'clock. We've been at this on and off for about a full 24 hour cycle. And I'm happy to report we, well, that's a shame, me is done. Train is running around the track fine. We get our afternoon sun into the into the table now, so open the yeah, window up there. Amusement parks in place. Everybody's in the little dioramas. Last one truck there. Oh, I was taking a picture over there. Just 
construction guys are working. My adventurers are in place going to the bus stop. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. That's looking really good. I'm really happy with this. Oh yeah, that's proof. That's gone. So it's all pretty much back to normal. I'll do a more in-depth video in the next couple of days with all, all the changes made in here. But uh, that is my journey from basically laying out a new set, new new train track, and incorporating it better into Legoville and giving myself some room for expansion. Very happy with what, ha what we've done here. Very happy how basically in the end it turned out a bit easier than I thought, even though I had to move everything everything I base played over. And it kind of works. So this is Nick Davis. Sign off on behalf of Legoville. Urging you to be safe, wash those hands, take care, and I'll be seeing you again sometime soon. You've all been awesome now. Cheerio.